afternoon, Brisbane, the world. How are you all? It's so good to see you this afternoon. <laughs> Wonderful to see everybody. And how are you on Friday? Like uh, another week, another week. Kachung just evaporates into nothing. I don't know where the time goes. It's amazing. Um, so how wonderful to see you today. Today we're going to talk about the surprising connection between happiness. Hello, Maracris. Um, we're going to talk about the surprising connection between happiness and weight loss. This talk is uh, for, for women who are business professionals, managers, leaders, um, high achievers, or any woman who is feeling overweight and overwhelmed at the moment. So I'm Katie Gordon. I'm the founder of Dietless Living, the real alternative to dieting, and the author of The Missing Link to Sustainable Weight Loss. Welcome to today's broadcast. Thank you for joining me. Um, today we're talking about that surprising connection between happiness and weight loss. And it's not really that surprising, is it? I mean, when you think about it, when life feels like a free, refreshing summer breeze blowing through, it's easy to be making wonderful choices for yourself. You know, you feel confident, you feel that energy rising in you it's easy to um, navigate your way through life nothing's too much problem you deal with stuff you know any stresses come through you boom bat them out of the park you deal with them you take care of them you spin your plates you got your projects on the hop and you just feel that drive and energy for life it's a zest for life when that summer breeze is blowing you've got that confidence and you have enthusiasm and it's easy to make good choices for yourself in fact it's not easy it's natural it's what you naturally do you naturally choose um, food that's going to fuel your body you naturally choose food that's going to sustain you you look for salads you look for vibrant food you look for things that have life and moisture and you you don't get home and go oh i feel like i gotta have alcohol you get home and you go oh i'm so feeling so great i think i'll go for a walk or you might go to the gym it's just so easy but what about when those um, the life's chilly winter cold winds come whistling through and suddenly you find yourself um, putting on the weight again and that weight returns and you have to kind of think about well why that is and there's a thousand reasons why that is but the main thing is that you've taken some kind of emotional hit when life's um, winter winds come that's when the tough times are right that's when somebody's died or there's been uh, strife at work or COVID-19 or um, there's a relationship problem or there's a health problem or there's just something happening or there's you've managed to um, layer in or or it's kind of like sometimes just the straw that breaks the camel's back for us is that we have too many stresses happening and then maybe one bigger one comes in and you kind of feel like oh man that's just it's too much and you kind of take this emotional hit and what happens then is you lose your equilibrium you lose your emotional balance and when you lose your emotional balance, your, um, your thoughts get chaotic because that's what happens when we get um, emotionally unbalanced. Our thoughts become quite chaotic trying to um, think its way around what's happened and how to maneuver the way out of it. So it's harder for us to, um, to have that drive, that that energy coming through what you have is actually the complete opposite you know life's winter winds are more about um, um, feeling uh, um, it, the inability to have all your plates spinning the inability to um, 
um, manage what's happening because you're, you're spending so much time actually managing what's happening within yourself and that's when we start to feel like we're being bounced around like we're being bounced around in an ocean um, or you know from pillar to post and that's what causes us then to lose our confidence and when we lose our confidence our happiness seems to evaporate and then our old coping skills come back and that's when the weight returns so happiness is actually um, very heavily linked to real weight loss and to real um, genuine good positive health habits because um, that's how it is we have this happiness energy and what we we do is just naturally take care of ourselves and naturally take care of um, the things that are happening because we've got that natural energy going on so what is it that you need to do to um, be able to have a sustainable weight loss like to have sustainable good health habits and be able to um, stay on top of yourself when those um, winter winds of life come through it's actually about learning the skills of life because we think that confidence and happiness um, are actually things that come and go without our permission that we don't really have any particular control about it you know that we're happy in the times when life is going well and that we don't really have a choice when life's not going so great or when something happens we also feel the same about confidence we don't know why our confidence comes sometimes and then it sort of evaporates on us for no particular reason but the reality is happiness and confidence and coping are actually learnable skills they are things that we learn how to do because what we we don't understand is that through our life we haven't learned the skill of happiness it hasn't been taught to us for some people they grow up in um, environments where happiness isn't actually either not so much um, encouraged it's not even allowed some children grow up in places where happiness is there's a lot of things happening maybe it's a serious household there's dramas there's problems there's things and we don't grow up knowing the comfort and um, security of a, a stable environment where we f that's when happiness comes when we have a, an emotional stable um, uh, environment so it's about learning the skills of happiness and the skills of confidence we can feel um, happiness at will and it's it is an actual skill to be able to do it's a it's a skills gap that we have so I talk, often talk about skills gaps because they really are something that we're not aware that we have because if we don't understand that that's a skill that we can learn then we don't understand that that's a gap that we have and that we could fill it and then um, have that as um, a, a resource a thing that we can dig into our toolkit for when we have challenging times so, so we need to remember to fill our skill our skills gap which is to um, how to learn how to be happy at will and how to create emotional stability how to develop better coping skills um, so that when the times come when those cold uh, life winter winds come you can dig in go right okay this is happening I need to develop some emotional stability here I need to get my thoughts from chaos into order I need to line them up and get things working again so that I can feel internal um, uh, alignment so I can feel internal uh, well-being so I can just feel internally okay with myself and that keeps your energy together which then keeps your uh, thoughts together which then keep your feelings together and that keeps all your behaviors together and then you do still um, more consciously start reaching for good uh, feeling foods foods that uh, fill you up with energy foods that have vitality um, and you start to feel um, 
that you actually do have the wherewithal to manage your internal resources regardless of what's happening externally so um, the surprising secret that happiness really uh, is connected with weight loss really isn't that surprising because it is your ability to maintain your happiness which means keeping your thoughts in alignment and congruent and um, uh, in, a, in a, a flow process where you can still manage all the things that you need to do as well as understand what's happening within yourself and being able to manage what's going on internally so you can manage what's going on externally so you can keep your energy up so that you can keep your confidence up so that you can keep yourself um, focused on better health habits because that is the main thing we need to take charge of our psychology um, in times that when things aren't going well so that when things are going well we don't have to do a lot of um, for want of a better term clean up afterwards and that's the the way that actually um, the connection between happiness and weight loss happiness is the key to all things and yet it's such a um, uh, I don't know it gets such a bad rap really because it seems like a flimsy um, crutch for people everything's about oh when can I be happy so that I can deal with life or you know when can I just be happy when will life stop coming and dealing me some of these winter winds so that I can um, just get on with life and be happy but the key to happiness is being able to feel that um, um, control that inner confidence that inner ability to be happy regardless of what's happening outside of yourself because life's always going to be dealing things and that's what yo-yo dieting is really it's life's going well oh life's not going good love oh, and then we pick ourselves up life's going good and that's how it is for yo-yo dieting I know that's how it was for me for all those years for 25 years just the up and down and when I lost weight that was when life was good when I had that inner drive that energy that ability to to conquer all things but when I take an emotional hit when there'd be just either too many stresses pile in at once or one big thing that would come in and clean me up I wasn't able to get a con uh, control of my chaotic thoughts and I would lose my emotional stability and that would have me feeling uh, just like if you were if I was in a, a boxing ring you know I'd be on the ropes all the time and that's when I would be reaching for the the more uh, wine at night or I'd be wanting the the chocolates and the, the different foods that aren't helpful to me and that's when the weight would just boom pile back on but not only was I eating poorly but that poor eating was diminishing my um, energy it diminished my ability to be able to get a handle on my thoughts and my feelings so being able to find places of happiness and I've talked about little pockets of happiness before that's the one of the little tricks and the tricks of the trade is to be able to have little pockets of happiness every day but it's that ability to have little pockets of happiness to be able to take charge of your psychology in troubling times because happiness actually is the antidote to stress so when you have um, stressful times if you can get yourself into finding a place a little tiny pocket of happiness you get to take charge of your psychology you get to break through that stress in that moment and then you get to um, uh, feel that just relief from whatever the emotional stress is in that moment does that make sense because it really is our ability to take take charge of our psychology that allows us to um, get our thoughts in order get our emotions in order and that allows us then to get our behaviors in order
that's the most important thing most people are trying to change behaviors but it's everything that's happening before that that it needs to be taken charge of um, you know it, it's not about what you eat it's why you're eating it is the problem so the connection between happiness and weight loss is not very surprising at all because it just makes complete sense that when you're happy and when you're feeling happiness you're feeling confident when you're feeling confident you've got you're feeling self-assured when you're feeling self-assured you're feeling safe and secure when you're feeling safe and secure you're doing good things for yourself you're taking charge or taking care of your health it comes naturally you don't even have to think about it it's effortless it's it's not even effortless it's just there it just happens you want to eat well you want to get outside and go for walks you want to socialize you want to get some good sleep you really just want to look after yourself because you're feeling that way it's when we're feeling the other way that we do the opposite things that's something I think we probably need to have a chat with the big fella about when he designed the human body why we feel so bad do we do all the things that make us feel worse you think he would have designed it the other way so that didn't matter what we felt we always went for the thing that made us feel better but um, that aside i haven't had a chance to have a chat with him i'm hoping that's a long way away before i get to go and have a one-to-one -one with the man but at the end of the day happiness is heavily connected to weight loss just simply because you have that confidence and that vitality and you feel really good because you're taking charge of your psychology you're taking charge of your emotional state and you're feeling in control and that's the key when you feel you have choices freedom and control that's when you step into your most extraordinary life and you can deal with whatever happens any day of the week thank you for listening today what are you guys doing for the weekend Mara Chris are you going to do anything exciting on the weekend I don't have anything fabulous planned although it is Mother's Day coming up on Sunday so I hope that um, all the mothers that are watching and all the daughters and sons who are watching that you're all going to get together and have a beautiful time. Celebrate mums. There's a lot of us. Um, I do have my mum still with me, but there are a lot of people I know that haven't got their mums with them anymore. And so Mother's Day is a time of celebrating her beauty and her generosity in a different way so I, I wish all the mums happy mother's day past and present and do have a fabulous time i think there'll actually be some cafes open um, as we do for takeaway but so there'll be no sitting in so maybe we can all find nice parks to go and sit in and enjoy a beautiful mother's day i think brisbane's going to have gorgeous weather so that'll be really nice Thank you for watching. I'm Katie Gordon. Um, I'm Dietless Living. Uh, please have a good weekend. Stay, stay, stay safe. Stay happy. Keep an eye out for the word of the day. We've put up some amazing ones the other day. I think the one I liked the other day was, you are brass balls. You are courage and tough. Have a look for those words. They're actually a really good way to remind you of your inner qualities and personal traits that you have that you can navigate any of life's um, cold winter wheel, winter winds coming through and uh, sort of feel that refreshing summer breeze. Thanks a lot, take care and I will see you next week. Bye for now.